In this video, we're going to look at completing the square when the coefficient in front of x squared is greater than one. So we're going to write it out. So we're going to get three x squared plus 12 x plus one. Now, one thing we have to do here is we always divide by the number in front of x squared. So I'm going to divide this by three divide that by three, divide that by three. So what we end up with, we can take three out as a common factor. Three X squared divided by three is simply X squared. 12 X divided by three is four X and we're left with a third. Now I'm going to complete the square here. So I'm going to get X plus two squared minus two squared plus a third and that's going to give me three times x plus two squared minus four plus a third. Now don't forget this is four over one. So I can times this by three. So I get three brackets x plus two all squared minus 12 over three plus a third. Now, this will now give me three X plus two squared minus 12 plus one is minus 11 over three. And I can expand the brackets out here. So I get three bracket X plus two squared minus 11 over three times three is 11. So there we have it, I've completed the square. Now, if they say to me, work out the minimum point, so we can draw our quadratic graph. And so let's start off with x squared. So that's the x squared graph. Move it along to minus two, because we've got plus two in the brackets like so. And don't forget the three on the outside only affects the Y value. So the X value is still remaining at minus two. And we're gonna bring it down to minus 11. So this point here, <coughs> minus two, minus 11 is the turning point of that graph. Here's another question for you to try. Pause the video and when you're done, you can look at my work solution. <coughs> so we've got six X squared plus 24 X plus five. So we divide everything by six like so and we can take six out as a common factor. So we get X squared plus four X plus five over six. Now here we're going to complete the square. So we get X plus two squared minus two all squared plus five over six. That will give me X plus two in brackets minus four plus five over six. Don't forget we would is over one, so we can times this one by six, times that one by six. And this now will give me six on the outside. I will get X plus two squared minus 24 over six plus five over six. And then I will get six x plus 2 squared so minus 24 plus 5 will give me minus 19 so it's minus 19 over 6 there span the brackets out so we get 6 bracket x plus 2 squared minus 19 over 6 times 6 is simply minus 19 so i've completed the square there so we want to find the minimum point we just draw the x squared graph in so here we've got x squared. 
it's x plus 2, so we go to minus 2 here, draw the graph in, and we're going to shift it down by minus 19, so the graph ends up there. So this point is minus 2, minus 19, which is the turning point of the graph, and we're done.